When I made my first video about Sunday Rival, it was still in early access, version 12.1, with version 12.2 of that early access coming a day later from my video. Today, Sunday Rivals has officially became a full-on game with Sunday Rivals version 1.0 coming out. Well, I want to talk about what happened between the day I've picked it up and made my first video and what we see now. Now, the first update was the big one was the skill level update, which gave us a whole lot of skill levels for Sunday Rivals. Again, a big addition to the game as now you can be a new guy trying the game or a skilled veteran and you'll have a challenging game for you. Version 14.0 came over two months from that and it was a big one and it was one of the major ones that made me think that Sunday Rivals will be a big force in this gaming scene and in the sports video game scene. The custom team updates. You could have customized all your players and all your teams and make them custom for you. You want to make the SEC? Go ahead and do it. You want to make the NFL? Go ahead and do it. You want to go back to 2009? Go ahead and do it. They have the option to do it. And again, that was a big change. And it was a for sure a good one. A gameplay update came as 14.3 with a lot of major updates to how the game looked and it felt. And now the AI ran the ball a lot better and it was a lot bigger and better for a gameplay, which made me think about actually creating videos like my, of my college football playoffs in Sunday Rivals. The catching update v15.0 of the early access was another improvement for a wide receiver like me and a wide receiver coach. Now we can see like over the top animations that come with this sort of style of game. And what we've seen from version 15.0 was a whole lot more of wide receiver play and a whole lot of over-the-top animation and good passes and the anticipation and the it was feeling a whole lot more better. Version 16.0 of the early access was again something that I wished for and I've talked in my first couple of videos about it and I think low poly answered. Not to the biggest extent but another major improvement with a full-on season mode. The season mode is one of the best things about this game, as it gives you a whole lot more replayability, and not just the headhunter mode, which is sort of like fantasy. I do like it, and I do wish it had even a bigger mode, with a full-fledged dynasty coming in, although I do not expect it, I'm still on my wish list for Sunday Rivals, having this kind of mode. It would be so big for the community and I would have loved to see it. Another difficulty sliders in version 16.1 came in May 2021 and again the season mode for that and it was amazing. 16.3 had a presentation update which is a great update for us to have. I do like the newer presentation and how it seems you do feel like you're inside a game and you're watching a good broadcast with, again, the football gameplay that we have come to love. Version 17.0, the coaching update, is another good update which gives the AI coaches some more ability to control and make every team feel unique. You want to run the army, just run the ball with the most... Once in a blue moon we need to pass, you can do it. You want to be an air raid offense who throws 50 times the ball and just two runs, you can do it. You have the hop, the option to do it. 
the lineup update was another good one with more additions for kicking, punting, and a whole lot more. You could have easily changed your lineup. The 18.0 was an addition to season mode. It was the awards update. We've given you the MVP, Offensive Player of the Year, and Defensive Player of the Year. And now they got rewarded for being those guys in your season mode. Version 19.0, probably one of the bigger ones, was the playbook update. It was a big update and it showed a whole lot more playbook than what we have seen before that. And now the playbooks look amazing and they feel amazing. And you have a whole lot more plays to run, which is exactly what we want. A defensive update came after that. We've given them that. Version 20, and now we're almost at the end, was the weather and time of day. Now the game feels like a dynamic game. Where you have time of day. You, have, you can play in the prime time. You can play in the snow. You can play in the rain. You can play in a dirty field, you can play in everywhere. And it looks amazing and it feels so good. Another small update came with the chain gang. As you saw during this video, I've run with the chain gang for a couple of times. It was nice. Another update was the face update. Probably the best one, as if you didn't see on my Twitter, by the way, follow the Twitter. You saw me joking about having a guy... 14 in the buffalo uniform with a big old beard. Who is it? No other than the legendary Fritz Magica. I, I know, I had to do it. But, like a full on uh, presentation to the magic of the beard in the NFL. And another thing that I really liked is how low poly the game creator response to uh, to me and to a whole lot more of the creators on Twitter. Again, Lopal, keep on the good work. You're a goat in this industry. You're a blueprint. You're the standard, in my opinion, on how a game developer should be with his content creator and his fans. The last update before the launch day was the V21.0 fumble update. And I am laughing a bit because if I remember, if you don't remember, what happened is the greatest voice acting from Low Poly on the V21.0 fumble update, which again was amazing. And the Mark Sands jokes where they are again amazing. And I do like them. And yesterday, or for me yesterday, I don't know when I'll actually upload this video, probably during the weekend. So on Monday, the 16th of May, 2022, Sunday Rivals was officially released as a full on game. And for me, it's amazing because I do love this game and I do believe this game is one of the better games for this indie scene, indie sport video game industry to show. Sunday Rivals is a major pillar for that. And I do love this game. I do wish it would stay forever and live in its glory that it should be deserving. And I hope that you'll pick it up if you haven't and you'll play it. And, we'll, and I want to see the best videos from you. So if you do, tag me on Twitter, tag me on, show me them on YouTube, show me them. I want to see what you can do. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you want some more Sunday Rival content. I have a lot more content, not just Sunday Rival, coming your way very soon. And I'll see you all next time. Cheers, guys.